Just in Mind provides helpful design tools such as rulers, guides, and grids so that users can create their wireframes and prototypes by arranging design elements pixel by pixel. In this example, we will show you how to use and adjust Just in Mind's design features in the user interface. Create a new web prototype. You will see the rulers at the top and left edge of the canvas, which will assist you when positioning widgets. They are displayed by default, and you can deactivate them in the View menu or in Just in Mind Preferences User Interface. In the Preferences menu, you can also change the units used by the rulers. You can choose from inches, centimeters, and pixels, which is the default option. Guides appear as non-printing lines that float over elements on the canvas. To create a guide, click on the rulers and a new guide will be created. Then, drag it to the desired place. To delete it, simply select it and press the Delete Guide key. Finally, let's take a look at the grid. The grid appears by default, as non-printing lines can also be displayed as dots. You can display it from the View menu. When the grid is activated, a set of vertical and horizontal dotted lines are displayed on the canvas background. If you activate the Snap to Grid option, when moving widgets through the canvas, they will automatically align to the nearest grid line found. To activate or deactivate the grid or the Snap to Grid option, you can go to Just in Mind Preferences then select User Interface and check or uncheck Show the Grid or the Snap to Grid option. In the Preferences dialog, you can also set the grid spacing. As you can see, the grid is useful for laying out elements symmetrically. Note that the grid will never be shown during simulation of a prototype.